and the last point it is vowels similarly you should study vowels as well what is their position through the diagram you can know the position of the tongue position of the lips in tongue you have front central and back in lips close half close half open and open so you should know it so in vowels you can prepare again in detail as i said monophthongs and diphthongs you can prepare accordingly in diphthongs you have e a a e u a r e a u a a r e r o so you should prepare it next part in this topic we have phoneme and allophones i will shortly tell all these things here prosody speech intonation falling tone and rising tone or falling rising tone phoneme is the smallest unit in speech sound it is also called the minimal distinctive unit of speech in language that is called phoneme prosodies it is not directly connected to the syllabus but the properties that are referred to the sound that is called rhythm as well pitch the frequency of vibration of the vocal cord that is called pitch intonation it is connected with the tone when we speak the sounds are there and the pitch varies rise or fall in new point So that is distinct utterance to convey different modulations of the meaning that is conveyed by the words in the utterance that is called intonation in english the intonation patterns occur on whole group of words such groups are known as tone groups again there are different tone groups grammatical consideration is there punctuation consideration semantic consideration so you can know this so these are the intonation and you should know it in details what is intonation in that again types are there rising tone falling tone falling rising tone in falling tone especially if you see it is used in making ordinary statements commands wh questions whereas the rising tone if you see it is used in s yes, no question or sometimes in interrogative question also again it is used to make polite request question tags to seek confirmation so you should falling rising tone is very rarely used especially when you are in doubt apology when you are going to express so you find additionally we should know the concept of stress we should know stress in diasyllabic words stress in polysyllabic words stress shift in derived words stress shift according to function stress in compound words sentence stress so you have to know the rules of stress for that you should know the syllable as well syllable is the division of the tone group it is the change in the pitch of voice that is called syllabus further we are going to see again what is syllabus what is stress next we are going to see weak and strong forms so you should know whatever helping words are there mostly prepositions article conjunction auxiliary so they are weak forms and other verbs nouns adjectives adverbs they are strong forms again you should know syllable structure what is consonant what is vowel so you should prepare accordingly so in short we have studied what is phonetics and what is phonology further again we are going to discuss in details syllable syllable structure stress another thing in this way i conclude here